Hey there all my beasties, my name is Terran. hope you're having a terrific day today, and if you are not, hope this video makes you guys day just a little bit better. So I've been getting asked a question a lot recently, and that is what recording software do I use to record my video games? Um, and I'm going to show you guys today. Uh... So basically, the recording software that I use is named Action, and it's by a company known as Marillus. Uh, this is their website, and you can go ahead and check it out. I I'm gonna leave a link in the description on uh, how to get to the web type website, but if you can see, their URL is right up here, and you can go ahead and check them out. Um, now, if you head on over to the store of their website, you can see right down here, there's a little thing called Action. Now, Action allows real-time recording, a capture of Windows Aura, desktop, and a superb HD video quality. With Action, you can record web player videos, record gameplay, benchmark, and display game frame rates. Add live audio commentary to create high quality tutorials. Um, so basically, Action's kind of like an all-in-one uh, video game recorder, and that's what I mainly use it for. Um, you can record your face cam, you can record your uh, gameplay, and it's really freaking cheap comparative to some of the other options out there. Um, I honestly wouldn't use any other kind of game recording software out there because I honestly think that Action is the very best that you can get. Um, as you can see, for home use it's only 30 bucks, and for commercial use it's only 50 bucks. So it's really cheap, it's nothing expensive. And comparative to Fraps and DX Tori, it is much better. It doesn't cause your computer to lag as much. It doesn't cause uh, as much uh, big video files when you uh, get done creating the gameplay footage. Um, and now let's head on over to the actual action. I already have it downloaded and everything like that. I'm not going to re-download it for this video. But I'm just going to head on right back over to action. And this is how action will look when you first open it up. Uh, please take note that if you get the uh, trial version that it won't look exactly like this and it won't have a lot of the options that I'm going to show you how to do in this video. Um, so as you can see this is all of the videos that I've already recorded. <laughs> some Minecraft, some Final Fantasy 8, just stuff that I'm, I put up on my YouTube channel. Um, and basically what you're going to want to do is get your setup similar to what I have right here. Uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go through and kind of tell you guys what all of this stuff means though. So the recording modes, the controller basically is to record your video games. It re will record only what's in the video game, it won't record your uh, background screen, it won't record your desktop, it won't record any of that stuff, only the video game is what it will re really record. Um, if you go to this one right here, this will record your active desktop and that is what I am using right now to record uh, this video that I'm showing you guys. When you're recording your active de active desktop, it will basically record everything that is up on your desktop. Um, yeah, and if you want to record only a certain region of your desktop, you can click on this little thing right here. I'm not going to click on this because it's going to end my recording if I click on it. And it will uh, basically show you uh, only record the area of the desktop that you want it to. Now the file formats, they only have two file formats and that is AVI and MP4. If you know uh, AVI, the difference between AVI and MP4 is basically MP4 files are much smaller than AVI files, but for the purposes of recording gameplay footage, you don't always want to go with the smaller option. I would stick with AVI because after you finish doing your video game footage, you will be editing it out and then you can convert it to MP4 format. Um, for video size, I keep it at 720p. Most video games don't go a bit above 720p, so there's no real big point to going up to 1080p, and 1080p can cause you to gain lag and all that sort of stuff, so just keep it down to 720p. There's not really a big deal with it, and if anything, if you want it above 720p, just go with original. Um, that will work out a lot better than 1080p will work out. Uh, and as for video frame rate, now a lot of PC games run at about 60 frame rate on average, uh, but for the for the purposes of recording video game footage, just put the video frame rate down at 
30. Now the reason for this is because most uh, videos that we watch on YouTube and whatnot are actually only 30 frame rate. Um, when you're not actively playing the game, it there's not a big difference when you put it down to 30 frame rate. And it will reduce the lag of recording by a ton. A lot more than you would think actually. Now you can set it to basically automatically uh, record for a certain amount of time and stop. I normally don't mess with this setting uh, because my video lengths are always different lengths. Um, and as for use perfect video match mode, basically what this little button does right here if you turn it on is that if you want to record another video on YouTube, for say you're watching, uh, I don't know, you're watching a video from one of your really good friends and they told you, hey, you can use a clip inside of my YouTube video and you just want to go to their YouTube video, record what they have, you just use that perfect video match uh, mode button and it will record exactly how that video looks on YouTube. Really simple, really easy to, to configure. Um, and as for record system sounds, system sounds are the noises that your computer makes. It's the noises that you hear when you have your headphones on uh, or when you're playing music, stuff like that. So if you want to record like game audio, uh, you want to record your system sounds. And for allow multi-channel audio recording, this is completely up to you if you want to use that or not. I personally always, always use allow multi-channel audio recording. The reason for this is because what multi-channel audio recording does is it splits your audio, your, your output and your input audio, and makes it in two different tracks in the video. So per se, I'm talking right now. Um, that will be one track, the, what you hear is my voice, but there's also the game sound that's going to create another track. Um, so what that will allow you to do is it will allow you to edit your audio, like your voice audio, but also edit your game audio at the same time in two different tracks. It just makes things way more simpler when you want to bring your voice up but not bring the game audio up with it. And as for microphone, I always record my microphone. Uh, I don't do any new commentary type videos, so yeah. Um, I'm not going to really explain all of these buttons. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> this button down here is for uh, start and stop recording. And, okay, I'm not going to re really explain all these buttons up here, but I'm just going to go through them really freaking quickly. This is for uh, live streaming. I don't have a subscription for live stream streaming. I do not I do not live stream, so there's not really a big point in me getting this subscription. Um, this is for audio recording, everything's pretty self-explanatory down here. This is for benchmarking, and this is for taking screenshots. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and jump into the uh, settings. The first one we don't really need to care about, it's kind of self-explanatory, just read all the stuff. Um, this one, it's also pretty much self-explanatory. Um, you can set your video quality for normal or high or whatever, it doesn't really matter whichever one you set it to. It, Honestly, it doesn't really create a big difference from what I've noticed. And of course, the thing down here, I never mess with the use overlay graphics. Um, I just don't touch any of that stuff. I use multi-core recording and I record mouse cruiser just because you want to see my mouse, don't you? <laughs> but let's move on to the webcam settings. Now, at the moment, I am not recording my webcam, so you guys can't see me, and I'm sorry. I know you want to see my beautiful face, but nope, not today. But I am not um, recording my web webcam right now. But what you can do with webcam one is you can set up which webcam you use. This is the webcam that I use on my desktop. Um, and you can set where it will appear on the screen. So basically what bottom left means is on the bottom left hand side is where my face will show up at. Um, a lot of YouTubers do this with their videos. But what's really cool about this action thing is that it will record your face and the gameplay in the same exact at the same exact time all through this one little um, software. So it makes it really easy to record yourself and the video game at the same time without opening up multiple different softwares. You can do it all from action. And at the same time, you can also have a second webcam recording yourself. Um, I don't not have a second webcam, I don't really use this option, but you can totally do that and record two people at the same time, maybe. That'd be really cool. Um, so let's move on to the, oh, and this button down here uh, basically will give you a preview of how it's going to look once you start recording.
uh, move on to audio settings. Now, my microphone settings. I'm using the microphone uh, Blue Snowball. So I just set it down to my audio device that I want to use, and I'm using the Blue Snowball, which is already up. Um, and I am recording my microphone into separate audio tracks, just like I explained over here. Um, and as for the audio device that any system sounds are coming out of, that's going to be my speakers. And then audio balance, the system sounds will be at 16% and the microphone volume will be 84%. So this will make my voice come way over any kind of gameplay noise, gameplay music, anything like that, that will be playing. And as for bitrate, just set that to system default, doesn't really matter. And uh, this doesn't really matter this doesn't really matter um you can automatically split files into parts for youtube i guess if you want to do that but this i don't really export videos directly to youtube i normally just uh edit out in a different program uh cam uh camtasia studio is what i use so yeah but i'm gonna make a different guide or video for that thing and then as for your hotkey settings, you can set what buttons you use to start your recording your video, start recording your audio, to capture some screenshots, you can set that all up right here. Um, and that's really all there is to action. It's not really that complicated once you get it started, once you start getting it set up. It's actually a really easy recording software to use comparatively to other recording softwares. The video sizes aren't that huge. It's it's all in one it's amazing it's really good um so yeah i hope you guys pick up this recording software i hope you like this video um and i hope you guys subscribe to me um but yeah i hope this video made your guys day just a little bit better and i will talk to you all later see ya bye Hello Rama Beasties, my name is Tara and I hope you're having a terrific day today. And if you're not, I hope this video makes your day just a little bit better. So today I am going to do a uh, microphone review because I just got a new microphone. So yeah, I just got a new uh, microphone so I hope my sound quality is a bit better. Um, I'm probably gonna be